Question number second. The perimeter of a rectangular swimming pool is 154 meter. Its length is 2 meter more than twice its breadth. What are the length and the breadth of the pool? Well, this seems to be a very easy question. Again, try driving into solution. Let's first visualize it. So we have a swimming pool. And here you are swimming carelessly, joyfully. And someone told you, the perimeter of this swimming pool in which you are swimming is 154 meter. Okay, so a thought strike in your mind. Well, I know perimeter very well. It is just the distance of outside boundary of any object. In this case, it is a swimming pool. So if, if I start walking from this point all the way around, around its outside path and reach the same point back, that will be perimeter and that is equal to 154 meter. All clear so far? Then the other guy says to you, its length is 2 meter more than twice its breadth. Whoa, now it's a bit tricky, but again, you pondered. So he said, its length, that is this part, it is 2 meter more. That means 2 meter extra in distance than twice its breadth. Now when you understood it carefully, you got everything correct. So the other person says, the breadth, if I start walking from here and move along its breadth and come back and add 2 meter to this, that would be equal to length of this pool. So everything became clear to you and now you started finding solution of this problem. So on the paper, first of all, we wrote whatever the given statements to you are. Number first was perimeter of a rectangular swimming pool in which you are swimming equals 154 meter. You're just writing whatever is given to you. You're not using any extra thoughts. So you know very well what is perimeter. Elaborately, it is twice of length plus twice of breadth. That is this distance plus this distance. Since it is a rectangle, this length will be equal to this length. And this breadth will be equal to this breadth. That equals to 154 meter. That is our first statement. The second statement that man said was length is equal to twice its breadth and we add 2 meter to it. That is very clear. So length is in terms of mathematics, twice of breadth that is represented with B plus that is addition of 2 meter to it. Now you have to find length and breadth of the pool. So you assumed that breadth be B meter. Obviously why you took it as small letter B again due to very obvious reason. B stands for breadth so that you don't get confused. No need to take it X, Y or Z. Just write the first letter of the unknown. So the question may arise why we just took the variable as breadth. Why we didn't took it for length that is small l. Well you could have taken that as well. But we try to take that quantity which is independent. Here length is dependent on breadth because length has been told to you in terms of breadth. Therefore it is independent quantity here and it is dependent. It's very similar with your life. You are not independent right now. You are dependent on your parents. So whatever they will say, you have to somehow follow it. So it is clear why we took breadth as a variable. This is a new sign for you, most probably. It is therefore in mathematics. That is three dots making a figure of a triangle. The length will be equal to twice of breadth plus two. This we just wrote from our second statement. Obviously it is in meter because length is in meter. This is the unit. Now what would be parameter? It would be twice of length plus breadth. Again nothing fancy. We just rewrote the first statement. But the parameter is given to us. That is 154 meter. So we wrote 154 meter. That is equal to twice of length. Now we found length in terms of breadth. That was twice of breadth plus 2 meter. So we just wrote similar within brackets so that we don't get puzzled. So length is twice of breadth plus 2. This plus is written over here. And what is B? Well, we have assumed it to be small letter B. It is here where we have assumed it. So we wrote it as B. Obviously, this all is in meter. Therefore, meter is written. Now, 154 meter as it is, that is equal to, we are solving this, that is bigger bracket. This smaller bracket has no significance. It is just to separate 
the quantities, that is length and breadth. We have learned that rational number are commutative in addition, that is their value doesn't change. So 2b plus 1b is 3b and plus 2 as it is. Obviously meter. Now meter, meter get cancelled. We have told you in previous exercise in this class itself that you can cancel similar quantities on numerator. So this is numerator. It is understood there is 1 in the denominator in both left hand side and right hand side. Well there is no need to write these quantities while you are solving. This is just for the demonstration. You can straight away write in the answer part whatever the quantities are. Anyways we cancel meter with meter. 1 2 is a 2 and 2 7 is a 14. So 1 will be remainder that will make 14. So 7 2 is a 14 therefore 77 came. Writing 77 as it is equal sign as it is here we are left with 3b plus 2 all well so far now we have to just get rid of this 3 and 2 we have to only leave b so that our value will equate to some value on left hand side and that would be our answer so 77 minus 2 obviously we will not write reasons now because it is very much clear to you by now so positive 2 becomes negative 2 and it gets subtracted with 77. So 77 minus 2 is 75 and we are left with 3b only on right hand side. Writing the same here due to space issues. Now we can cancel it. It is very similar to transposing. This we have again made you understood in our previous exercise. So 1 3 is a 3 and obviously 25 3 is a 75. So we are left with 25 equals B, nothing with B, B is left alone. Therefore, this is very similar to writing B equals 25. So what was B assumed for? It was breadth and what the questions asks for, what are the length and breadth? So we have found breadth is 25. Now what is length? So length was twice of breadth and add 2 meter to it. So twice of breadth means 25 into 2 is 50 and adding 2 extra to it gives you 52. So it simply means we have breadth as 25 meter and length as 52 meter. So it was a very interesting puzzle, nothing to worry about. Just write whatever is given to you in terms of mathematics and just go with the flow and do not use your extra thoughts. With this our second question is solved.